Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on Renault fluids. This is not to say that the ancestors of the model became famous as absolutely non-corrosive, but no one considered them to be problematic either. Compared to its predecessor, the number of plastic parts in the body structure has decreased, the front fenders and the hood are now made of steel. But the body didn't rust anymore. The paintwork is holding up well, however, and the cars are still fresh. Oddly enough, there is no galvanizing on the bottom panels and side members, and the contact points of the side members with the curbs, the joint of the side members and the engine shield remain at risk. We'll also write a niche under the windshield here. The cars are still relatively fresh, but sometimes there are complaints. And not at all a funny defect. The rear door sag and the seal erases the paint on the doorway of the door. Dealers eliminate this defect under warranty for the first time, but in the future all costs will fall on the owners, so it is better to stick the films on the top of the opening. Locks creak very strongly and it is difficult to determine the source of the sound. It seems that the door trims are creaking. Luckily, a simple lubricant helps a lot. By only 60,000 mileage, the rollers in the door opening limiters are erased and they also begin to click. But here the lubrication no longer helps, the roller needs to be changed. The heat shielding aluminum screen on the bottom bends regularly when driving through puddles and begins to touch the muffler. The soundtrack is extremely annoying. The windshield doesn't lack frost extremely and can crack even with normal operation of the climate system in winter. And if the car has a rain sensor, then it is better to buy a new lens when replacing the glass. There are less chances that air bubbles remain under it. The interior is not bad, but the seats and steering wheel with eco leather on pre-styling cars wipe off very quickly. On restyling with the steering wheel, the problem was solved. But if the interior is dusty, then this is a cons consequences of improper installation of the filter. The process here is very original. The filter needs to be squeezed into the space allotted to it, and sometimes it simply doesn't straighten out inside. By the way, the interior is very quiet compared to classmates, and the quality of the finish is not bad. You just need to get used to the extremely unusual design and amorphous chairs. And another small but annoying moment, after the wear of the native fiber blades, you need undoubtedly be pleased by the problem of choosing something to replace. There is a bayonet arm, and there are a few alternatives. We'll have to choose between expensive and very expensive models. I must say right away that the lamps in the headlights here change normally, and the skills of a proctologist are no longer required. The headlight simply pops out and the bulbs are replaced. But there is a problem with the rear lights. They need to be periodically removed and the contacts cleaned from oxidized since the negative terminal in the headlight connector is very overloaded. It can simply burn out. Use special lubricants for best results. Another serious problem is the heater, heater motor. Its resource is about 100,000 km of city mileage. The brushes simply wipe off the manifold and the motor starts to stop and then starts up forever. Road repair requires replacement of the collector and there is always a chance for poor quality service. By the way, the price of a new motor is more than 300 euros, which is a bit our budget. After several years of operation, the range of operation of the keyless entry system decreases due to the oxidation of the antenna contacts in the key over time. The external temperature sensor breaks down regularly, which entails incorrect operation of the climate system. The car is low, but many solve the problem radically by installing racks with Renault Laguna with increased ground clearance. If you also put rubber with a high profile, you get almost a luxury duster. The suspension itself is surprisingly reliable, the resource of bolt joints and shock absorbers is about 100,000 km, and the levers last even a little longer. The quality of the native anthers of the front shock absorbers is below average. The owners recommend the collective farm with the installation of parts from VIZ. The brakes are completely standard and reliable, except for one butt. French originality manifests itself in the design of the rear hubs, and they are all here made at the same time as the brake disc. This is not to say that unusually the resource of these nodes varies greatly, but this is a strange decision. Steering without any special frills is reliable. There is only one claim to the electric amplifier. It is very strangely tuned. The car is harsh in steering responses, but the effort in the zero position is extremely low. But the steering wheel is filled with effort in sharp turns, trying to compensate for a lack of reactive action on the straight. Manual gearboxes here with a good margin of safety, but in Russia they were only paired with 1.6 engines. On previous styling cars with the same unit, the legendary automatic transmission of the DP2 series was also installed. These four-speed automatic transmissions are famous for their bad temper and excellent velocity. The world body design is not the most successful, frankly cheap, and all this is aggravated by overheating and tight adjustment of the blocking of the gas turbine engine. Moreover, in the Renault version, automatic transmission of this series are also found in Peugeot, but in a different version, the box is hopelessly lazy and devoid of overheating sensors. 
The resource strongly depends on the driving style. With pairing operation, the box can run 1,500,000 km, but for most owners, problems begin with helping the mileage. True, the price of the repair is ridiculous by the box standards. A complete bulkhead is put on stream and costs from 350 euros. Jetco variators, which are used on 2.0 with restyled 1.6 motors, are reliable, but you need to remember about the features of the variator durability. Shock loads, cold races, and high speed and highest speed races all carry the risk of damaging the cones and chain. They all must be changed on time. For example, at Mitsubishi recommends for its cars with the same unit, that is, every 60,000. And not at all inf indefinitely, like we know. And yes, all can be poured in the not very expensive original Elf Elfomatic, but it is also under the brand name Nissan NS2, which by pure chance is also produced by Elf, has the same tolerance and works in the same variations, but on Nissan cars. With some luck and careful movement, the resource of such an automatic transmission will be more than 200,000 km, but unfortunately only a couple of attempts to get out of the snow drift, drive onto the curb in tightness and, now it has been interrupted, bullies and a sharp drop in the resource. By the way, paradoxically, it is more difficult for the variator with a 1.6 engine than with 2.0. It overheats when it gets struck much more often. All motors here have long been known to Russian motorists. We know that 1.6 key M4 engine from old Megane, Logan, and several other popular models. More often, the recent 1.6 engine on our restart cars is from the Nissan HR16DE series. It is slightly more powerful and noticeably lighter. The dynamics of the car with it is slightly better. It has a chain timing belt with a resource of 100-180,000 km at not exorbitant replacement prices. Unfortunately, it is deprived of the indestructibility of Q4M. After 100-150,000 km, it can start eating up oil due to cocking of the piston group. But there is a good news for Renault owners. Soon this engine will be known in any car service in the country, because it is that is installed on Lada Vesta and X-Ray, which means that there will be no problems either with the service or with spare parts. The 2.0 liter M4R has an aluminum block timing chain and is familiar to many from Nissan cars. The resource of the chains is not too high, about 120-150 thousand kilometers, but sudden breaks and jumps are almost never encountered. A serious disadvantage is the risk of cylinder head cracking due to inaccurate tightening of the spark plugs and the high labor intensity of maintenance. But in general, this motor can be considered a model of reliability in our time. The resource is stable, our control system is reliable. Ignition modules fail relatively often, and it is necessary to adjust the timing gaps at least once every 60-90,000 km. This will prevent early wear of the camshafts and increased noise. On this information, both the problems of renal fluids as exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.